This is Krishan, but it's not about me. I want to introduce you to someone that you guys probably heard of, someone you guys probably know. His name is Coding Phase, and Coding Phase, if you go ahead, man, and introduce yourself. You already know it's your boy Joe, aka I do this, aka CodingPhase.com, aka YouTube slash Coding Phase. It's your boy out here. We in here, man. <laughs> Listen, I'm a, I'm a web developer, man, but I'm also just a regular guy, man. Like, think of me as just your friend, your boy, your your homie, you know. I'm just a regular dude. That's the type of energy that I like to bring. I don't want to come in and be like, oh my God, it's this uptight person who n does code. No, I'm just, <laughs> oh. I'm just like you guys. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. We in here, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Well, I mean, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I've been, We've been trying to plan a meetup for a while, haven't we? Hell yeah, man. It, it's crazy. I mean, I mean I, I've seen your channel and things like, I don't know if it was like December or early January, and I was like, damn, man, like, like I was going through a lot of stuff, and I was like, yo, this kid, his channel is like so positive, like, it kind of keep, like, you actually made me continue making videos, because at one point, I was like, so many things was happening to me, I was like, oh, man, I don't even want to do this no more, and then I'm like, wait, hold on, he's doing it, and he's doing it, you know, in, in, in a proper way, and I'm like, you know what, I, I'm going to just push myself to you know get this youtube channel popping and you know here we are <laughs> yeah man well i mean i've seen your videos and uh you know especially if you're new camera i like the new content you've been giving out let's get into it so today what we're going to be talking about is uh the wrong ideas people have about learning code uh for example like man i'm not smart enough to go to learn code oh man you know i don't live in a good enough country to learn code and so what we want to talk about today uh, for everyone that does view this today and for the future is what are the wrong ideas people have and the misconceptions, the, the lies that they've heard that can prevent people from learning. So I'd love to hear your input on this. Yeah, well, definitely. This is something that I went through when I was first starting to, you know, get my interest in, in web development. And it was like, yeah. oh my God, like I'm really bad at math. So I was like, am I going to be able to become a, a, a developer because I'm like, I'm not really good with math. Like, I'm, you know, everybody would come into class and do their, you know, the homework, whatever, and the test and do good. And I'm like, oh, man, I got to find somebody to cheat off. Like, you know, I was one of those guys. So it's like, yeah, yeah. you know, I was just like a regular person. I was like, damn, man, maybe that's not for me. Just because of, you know, of like the programming side, I, I will be like, oh, my God, I got to be really good with math. I got to be really good with calculus. And then when I realized right now i haven't used math like i don't know in what like five seven years i don't know <laughs> i agree you don't have to be einstein all you have to know is you know what's one plus one equals two that's it if you know the simple stuff you're good you do need to know subtra subtraction though and a little of bit course. of division <laughs> <laughs> depends <laughs> you can't just make it through through life with like everything is a plus you know i agree i think the minimum requirement is you have to know how to count your own money if you're able to do that, then you're good to go. It's that it's impossible for me to learn. Mm -hmm. And I think many people think that when they see people like uh, Mark Zuckerberg or even Bill Gates, who was a developer, you see Sharp. Um, you see uh, even the people, the owners of CEOs of Twitter. Uh, all these people were very intelligent programmers, but that's why they started big companies because they're really good. Because the kind of skill they have is a skill that not many people have. Um, but I, we're not trying to build big companies like that. All we're trying to do is trying to learn how to understand a language I don't know yet. And honestly, for, for me at least, when I learned HTML, when I learned CSS, uh, it, it was a hundred times easier to learn these languages than it was in Spanish. And a lot of people think they can't do it, but really with effort, with determination, even just studying an hour a day, which is what I did, one to two hours a day, you'll be able to understand it in two months. At least HTML and CSS, you know, and you know, some people that I've been receiving a lot of emails too, and I'm, I'm sure you've been receiving a lot of emails too, coding things. Yeah. But a lot of people have been asking me about boot camps. A lot of people have been asking me. I actually just put out a video. Someone asked, um, "Hey, I just got accepted to this, uh, you know, college, and should I go to that college? And should I get, you know, take a bunch of loans to go there?" Uh, all right. <laughs> My problem with boot camps is like, I mean. It's not really a problem of 
like you know the boot camps themselves it's the fact that they charging so much money to teach people just the basics like people yes, have have this idea of hey i'm gonna go into this boot camp i don't know anything but i'm gonna go into this boot camp and i'm gonna come out of there uh, as a developer that has you know as a senior level and it's like he's gonna know everything you're gonna be able to get that 90 thousand dollar job right away and like that's like your way to basically go up to the top and it, it doesn't work like yeah, that yeah yeah it takes time people think they have to learn everything in one shot you don't need to learn everything in one in one shot like meaning html css javascript php ruby uh, java or uh, python mm -hmm. people think that they just have to go in there dive deep and just be like i gotta learn everything like yeah. that was one of the mistakes too that I made in the beginning because uh, I, was, yeah. Me too. I was I was just trying to learn everything. I was like, okay, at that time there was a backbone, there was Angular, there was Ember. And Good I literally point. Yeah, I learned everything at, at one time. But did I really uh, know it? No, I, mm -hmm. I didn't know it. All I knew was just pretty much was the basics, just like a little in introduction. So my whole first year was pretty much of me just tasting a little bit of every every single fr uh, framework and language like <laughs> i remember this like i went to this company right and uh it was like uh i don't know you heard of complex magazine mm -hmm. yeah. all right all right so i went to complex magazine and i went for an interview and it was for like front end developer and i was like oh man i was already nervous because i'm like oh man i don't know if i'm ready it's like my main this is a first major company because i have started working in a smaller business but when you go to those large companies it's, it's different you know as soon as you come in you see the big logo the freaking glass door like everything's all nice and clean and you're like holy shit I like i don't know if i could you know am i gonna get hired here you know what i mean but yeah, then yeah. started asking me questions and it's like hey do you know like uh i forgot what was it uh prototypical inheritance oh what the hell i don't even know how to answer that at that yeah. point like now yes i know uh, what it is but <laughs> i was just like oh my god like how the hell am i gonna answer this because all i knew was just like jquery and you know a little dollar sign and i'm like okay maybe i could get by with this but then i realized i'm like the reason why i wasn't ready for that interview it wasn't because i haven't been studying it's just i just been focusing on everything oh, yeah. else Mm. instead of just focusing on one thing. Oh, uh, that's a really good point that you said, Cody Phase, and I'm glad I actually asked that question because that's a big misconception that a lot of people have when it comes to learning code. I remember when I see, you know, all these, you know, YouTubers too. It seems like they know every single language out there. Uh, and you you get so overwhelmed by all these languages, just PHP, MySQL. Uh, I'm not sure, this is MariaDB. It's mm -hmm. actually something that came out of my SQL, but I didn't even know that existed. Um, yeah. There's uh, Python, there's C Sharp, there's C++, there's C everything, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. And so you tend to think that you need to know everything at once to be able to get hired, but the fact is that's not true at all. Um, and that's, that happened to me. I studied HTML, CSS, JavaScript was a pain in the butt, and to this day it's still a pain in the butt. I think that's for everyone. I um, mean, then because I thought I was a pro when I wasn't at JavaScript, I went straight to jQuery, and I forgot all my JavaScript. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, and then I went straight to PHP and MySQL. I forgot all my JavaScript, and so actually, what my job is asking me to do right now is to learn JavaScript again, mm -hmm. all because I tried to learn everything once, which was yeah. honestly a bad idea. So. And people always tell me, Chris, how did you get a job in three months? Did you really get a job in three months? And I'd always tell them, yeah. And they ask, what did I do different than everyone else? I did nothing. I just made a website. I applied. I called them to see I want the job. Two days later, I came in for the interview and they hired me on the spot. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, um, so yeah, a lot of people think you have to know everything to get hired right away, but you just have to go for it. The only way you'll know if you're skilled enough to get a job is if you apply and you get rejected or if you get hired. If you don't get hired, what do you need to do? You need to improve. Exactly. That's the only way you need to know. I think another misconception um, uh, is that even for me, I, I started learning code only, what, 11 months ago, 10 months ago? And so I'm 29 now. I was 28 when I started learning code. Uh, I was, that's still young, all right? Uh, but you know, being 28 and learning code, and you think of everyone, wait, am I too old to learn code now? Am I not young enough? Oh, should I have learned code when I was 18? Is it too late for me? But the fact of the matter is, that's not true. Why? 
because I actually take part in the hiring process now at work. I look for people to join our company yeah, as a junior developer, interesting, right? Um, and we just hired a couple months ago, uh, I think he's about 55 years old. We hired a 55 year old uh, backend uh, programmer. Now, it, that's true, he's very skilled. He's really good, but he's 55 years old, <laughs> you know? So uh, age really, it doesn't matter how old you are, where you are in your life right now. You don't have to be 18 to be hired as a developer. You just have to be hungry yeah, and to work harder than everyone else. Those are the people that people love. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree with that. Like another thing too, um, you know, this is for the females, the girls who's out here, you know, uh, girls who code. I know if you, yeah. Which is, uh, you know, pretty great. Um, like one of the, the backend developer for my company is actually uh, is a woman, right? And she's been oh, wow. programming since the 80s, right? So she has like a long history. She's, she's done like almost every backend language that you could think of. She's done Perl. She's done Java. She's wow. done Ruby. So yeah, pretty yeah. much... It's like there's no limits to this thing. This, you know, your skin color. It's not really about your age. It's not really about where you come from. It's not mm -hmm. really about your sex orientation. It's about, hey, can you do the job? Like, you know, yeah, and yeah. can you have fun doing it? People think that just because you see the numbers, hey, somebody, so-and-so is making $90,000. So and so is making one hundred twenty thousand dollars. The yeah. reality of things is that that's not gonna be you most of the time. It could be you, but the reality of things is you have to work there. You don't know that person's history. There's some people that have been coding since fourteen years old, thirteen years old, and then by the time they end of high school, they have the same level as somebody who was, you know, thirty years old. And fucking and been, uh, you know, <laughs> sorry, a curse. So uh, thirty years old, who's been, you know, programming for years, you know, yeah. because it, it just takes time. So when you see somebody who's like really young and say, like, "Oh my God, he's only seventeen and he's already, uh, you know, signed up with Facebook and Facebook picked him up," you don't know his story. You know, he's yeah. been doing this for God knows how long. You know. Yeah, I is. agree. You have to pretty much for the first couple of years. It's a sacrifice. You have to be willing to eat garbage for yeah. the first couple of years. Build your skill, even if you become better than your senior developers, and that should be your goal. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I totally agree. You have to start from the bottom up. Uh, that's what's happening to me right now. I'm at the bottom, but you know, I'm All doing right. freelance jobs on the side and helping you me out. At least you stop. You're already heading to the top. I mean, <laughs> man, I haven't, I haven't heard from you know from a lot of people that you know. That everything is going so good like like you right now man you got a, a, a very good youtube channel you have uh you know uh very good skills that are in web development at the same time you know not many people can say hey i got a job at three months like i wish i could have said that <laughs> like me it took me a whole year because I, yeah. I, I in my head i'm like i wasn't ready but you you're the type of person that's a go-getter and then and you're positive at the same time it's like hey when you think like that you're like you know what what do I have to lose? I'm going to just go for it. You're going to go to places where you, you wouldn't even think of. You, you know, next year, we don't know where you're going to you're gonna be at. We might just yeah. be seeing Chris Sean at Google next year. Like, we don't know <laughs> no, that no. yet. Who needs to care about you more than anyone else in regards to your career and your future is yourself. When you get that mindset and you realize, wow, no one cares about me. I need to do something now. What will that do? That's going to push you to work harder than everyone else. Why? Because at the end of the day, your life, your family, taking care of them is up to you. That's why I work so hard. Um, I, I, well, I, I want to work as hard as I can. That's why I stay up till 1 a.m. every day and I still wake up at 6 to go to work and I'm trying to hustle as much as I can. Because I realize no one cares about me, you know? And so what do people need to realize at your end, everyone who's even listening right now, you need to work hard. Yeah, learning code may be difficult at this moment, but when you succeed and when you make it to the end, Guess what? People still won't care. So that's why you need to care more than everyone else. You could get to this point, and even at that point, nobody cares. Nobody's like, mm -hmm. nobody's gonna be there and applaud you and be like, "Hey, this guy made it." No, it's like you're doing it for yourself. And like one thing that I, I'm gonna tell everybody is, everybody that's here, 
and watching this video and watching Chris Sean or going to my channel youtube.com slash coding face pretty much <laughs> pretty much uh you you guys are already winning because I know so many of my friends who pretty much I've given them courses on Udemy I've given them free passes to uh Team Treehouse and nobody has gone and, and taken any of the courses or signed See. up for anything and I'm like you're here working in the mall and I'm giving <laughs> you basically the key to leave out of here and you're yeah. still not taking it the fact that you're still listening to me coding phase I'm in the west coast he's in the east coast so the fact that you're listening to two people from different sides of the country it shows how hungry you are and it shows that you can do it right everyone else that just left because oh this isn't as entertaining people who left the video oh this isn't as fun but for all of you guys who are watching right now the fact that you're listening to us the fact that you watch this whole thing shows that you're hungry that you're really able to make it so you just have to keep persevering keep coding and you gotta subscribe to coding things <laughs> um yeah but yeah, I think that's it. But um, if you guys don't know Coding Phase yet, he's a, honestly, he's like a good friend of me now. We actually text each other quite often. Yeah, man. It's crazy because it's like... He's my first YouTube. Yeah, he's someone that you can learn a lot from. He's very skilled. He's more skilled than me when it comes to code. So if you guys want to learn a lot, he gives a lot of tutorials on his channel. Make sure you hit him up. It's youtube.com slash Coding Phase. Um, and yeah, you'll learn a lot from him. Any last words from you? Yeah, guys, I, I just want to say, you know, Thank, thank you to Chris Sean, you know, for having me here, uh, having his audience get to see me and know a little bit about my channel. And I just want to let you guys know, like, one of the greatest things about uh, Chris Sean's channel is just he's a regular person. And it's just like me. That's how I relate to him. That's why we've actually become pretty cool. Like, we constantly text each other and check up on each other. Like, just because it's like, you know, it's, it's a regular person. It's not here like, hey. This is two guys who are trying to sell us something. This is two guys who are professional actors. Like, no, we're just, <laughs> hey, I'm some guy from Queens, New York, that somehow found the cheat code. I pressed left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, and I got the <laughs> cheat code to basically get in the game of, you know, web development, man. And you guys could do it too. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. If you want to support the channel, just click on the links below and basically click either on the Amazon link or you click on the Udemy link. So whenever you buy an item, basically like a little percent, I think it's like three or four percent, we get it back over here at the channel and we could actually help out other developers. If you didn't know, we actually give 25% of all the earnings 